Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about software education, it's free, and why the salaries are so high. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, since software, is, software development learning materials are free, why is it that the salaries are still fairly high? And the short answer is, my friend, that the demand is high. You see, education that earns you a big paycheck doesn't have to cost a lot of money. Let me explain. So you may, this may come as a shocker to all of you, but software education or learning how to program is for most intents of purposes these days free. If you're just going on the internet or well, I wouldn't say free free because the quality content is usually some type of premium type of content or at the very least you have to have an account or something like that. It may not be super expensive if you compare it to what it might cost you to go to college or a university or something like that. But at the very least, it's semi-free. It's very available, let's call it that. And this may be weird to depending on where you are in the world where they might actually in your society or in your region associate higher learning with higher paycheck. And in other words, because that's usually how it goes. It has been the case for a long time. If you need, well, it's not always the case. I don't think that there are all that many scientists who are struggling to get their doctorates or if they're trying to get funding for their different projects. I'm pretty sure that they, although they might earn more than the average person, I'm pretty sure that they don't, that the return on investment for how much they have spent is probably not on par, probably a bit warped that um, that ratio there. But usually what people have thought in the past is that, oh, if I want a really, really good job with a really high paid salary, then I need to pay a lot of money for intuition and other things in order to get the knowledge that is going to give me that paycheck. And sure, that has been the case, but you'd think, I will argue that you think about it the, in the reverse. The, and what I mean by you think about it in the reverse is that you believe that the, that the job with all that money, well, the reason why it's valued so highly is because, oh, the education itself was so pricey because that makes sense, right? If you're selling a commodity or a product of some sort, well, then the manufacturing cost of the product and all that other good stuff is going to be the base layer before you get the price, like the, the profit margin on top that makes up the full price. But I argue that it's the, the reverse in when it comes to education and job availability. So what's happened is not that the education was so pricey to produce that you have to have a high salary. It's the other way. It's that the salary was so high because you need people to be get an incentive to, to apply for these jobs and, and do this work. So the education needed to be produced in order to produce these sorts of people. And then at some point you figured out, the education system figured out that, hey, you know what, let's jack up the price because the people that are going to become whatever we're educating them to do, well, they're going to earn a lot of money. So if we put them in serious debt, then we can get our hands on some of that cash. And that's for, um, I'm very sorry to say, a lot of people, the reality. You in debt yourself because the idea of that you're going to become a a lawyer or a successful businessman or whatever you call it, you call it, right? Uh, is going to be such a big payday for you that you can afford that education. And that's just, yeah, that's how it works. Now, in software engineering, that's not true. And that is because the reality of the situation is that the universities don't in many ways have the best education for the, sk um, uh, for the skills that are most relevant to software engineers. They have a very good education in many cases, sometimes not, but a lot of them are good and they will teach you a lot of foundational skills that are very important if you're going to go into certain areas of programming. But at, the, at, the lar at large, the reason why the salaries are so high is because the scarcity of developers who actually can do the job is that high. It's, or there's such a deficit of programmers that as I was saying, it's not about the education being pricey and therefore you get a high salary. It's about the fact that the, the, the demand is so high that 
you have to get people to get incentive, uh, get an incentive to actually go to your company. Today, you may not know this, but today you cannot just post and say, I need some programmers and then get any type of quality programmers. It's actually a lot of work to find quality programmers. Things such as company branding and having a having a relationship with different communities and recruitment processes and all this good stuff and having perks. I mean, how many companies or how many industries do you know where they try to do things like give you a free a free breakfast or gym memberships or after paid after works or stuff like this just to get an interest for their company there's not that many com- many industries where this is normal it's practically no one else does this but in IT this is very normal because the deficit is literally that high it's literally the case where I think I pulled out this number more than once, but here it goes. One point, uh, I think it's 1.5% if we're going to go with Stack Overflow's um, report from the last year of developers, who are professional grade software developers who are unemployed globally. 1.5%. That means that if you want a new developer, someone who's does, who isn't spoken for in some other company, you have... 1.5% of the total to look at and that's the situation the uh, I don't, I, it's hard to understand how de, how hard, high this deficit is but it is that is extreme so in order for you to get people to go into your company you have to either provide them with outlandish salaries or some other type of perk that makes them go, oh, I'm going to earn more if I go to that company instead of staying at this company. I should switch because it's much harder to get someone to switch to something than it is to get someone who's doesn't, who doesn't have anything and actually get them to apply. And I hope that makes sense to you. So what I want you to take away from this is that if your idea is that just because software development skills are free or free-ish, or the availability of them are at the very least, that that is weird because the the salaries are so high, well, then I believe that you're thinking about the education costs and the education system in the wrong way. It was never the case where software uh, producing the skills or producing the learning materials was so costly that you need to charge these prices. Traditionally, that's why, why you, what you might believe, but the reality is that it's the demand for the education that is the, the determining factor in what the say in what the salary is going to be. How much do we have to offer a person to go through the process of learning all the stuff that they need in order to produce the value that we're going to get from them? And the education system has just leached itself onto that price mar- margin or the, to that to salary salary level. So you are forced to pay outlandish amounts for certain education in certain uh, industries because greedy motherfuckers have realized that you're going to earn a lot of money if you succeed and therefore if we put you in serious depth, well, that's not a problem because you're st- it's still going to be worth it for you and we can get as much money as possible. But the education was never the cost factor. The cost factor is all the work that you have to go through so, and it's determined by the companies because the companies need you to go through the whole process and the people who are charging you for it, they're simply trying to earn money from the, from making you into that person that's going to earn all that money. So that's pretty much it. Have a great day.